2023. Pamechi is the worst of the worst. He should resign. Asari Dukuba, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified on post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. A former Niger Delta militant, Asari Dukuba, as the Prime Minister of Transportation and 2023 presidential hopeful, Ratimi Amici, as the worst of the worst. Politics Nigeria reports that criticizing the All Progressive Congress APC Stowat, Dokubo said Amici should have resigned his position in the aftermath of a March 28th train attack by terrorists in Kaduna State. Amici is one of the worst of the worst. He's so shameful. That Amici is still in this government is very shameful, Dokubo said in the recent Facebook Live monitored by this newspaper. Why would an Amechi have the infantry to say he wants to be president of Nigeria? In any same time, Amechi would have resigned from government. But he is there. The other day I saw him using government property to campaign with Nigerian Railway Corporation NRC vehicle. Amechi is managing the greatest debt burden in Africa. The debt burden is on us. It is depleting our foreign exchange. And he told us that the trains are light rail. But the train stopped on the way. They are using diesel. Amechi has been lying to all of us. Above all, Abuja to Kaduna train was attacked. As we are talking, over 100 people are still missing. Instead of the minister to take responsibility and resign from this government, he was saying he was going to propose a surveillance system. Omo, the Asari Dokubo is giving everybody hot hot. He's serving everybody pep head, you know very chilly, <laughs> very uh, uh, spicy, yes, yeah, spice is the word, spicy jello fries. If he, he gives uh, IPOB this, he gives, you know, he just keeps giving and giving. And I'm asking myself, why exactly is he bouncing all over the place? Because when it was IPOB, it was, okay, okay, fine, IPOB, okay. He was once their member, so maybe something must have, you know, Cause the rift within them, but he started attacking individuals like politicians. Of course, which are politicians, we too, we are attacking them and we are giving them back to back. But him coming out, he will attack this one, he will attack. Uh -uh. I'm not like, I said, what is going on? This uh, 70 years old man, what is going on? <laughs> okay, we don't really know, but truthfully, our politicians, none I have said before, I have not seen, I'm yet to see my candidate. I'm yet to see my candidate. I don't know about you. The Kuba should better stop speaking and be quiet. After all, he started terrorism in Nigeria. He was part of the criminal gangs that made chase out of River State when he was a governor. Hmm. Who is this one calling people names? If not in Nigeria, how can a common criminal continue to call people names? Hey, it is not only Amechi. Those looking for presidential posts, if you are in order, if you're on the other side, please leave him alone and pray for God to forgive your sin and look for a better future life and live the evil way of life. Thank you. Many of you should always make use of your be rational when talking. Was Amici the one that sent them to bomb the train? He was not the one that sent them to bomb the train, yes. But he is actually the person who his office is like that is supposed to be very disturbing to him. If he really, really cares about the interest of the people, he's going to be disturbed. And he will do whatever in the spa to ensure that it comes out, not be getting distracted by coming out to declare his presidency and going out, going all, all around for campaign. Okay. How can Amechi ever imagine to be president of Nigeria? But trust me, it is only in a country like ours that you see those who have performed so poorly in their respective positions. It is when you see a senator who has performed below average who come out and tell you they want to be the governor. They didn't do well and they, want their hand. they were given the opportunity to, to lead. It is only in Nigeria you see a governor, a sitting governor who has performed poorly below average. The person will come out as if with all the audacity and the morally high and telling us that they want to be the president of Nigeria, knowing fully well that they have actually not performed well in office.
Okay. So, um, it is only in Nigeria that we are going to actually see these things happen. Now, yes, we are picking on Amechi and me and myself, me, myself, I'm picking on Amechi because your office is like, okay, fine. Had it been this thing has nothing to do with the Ministry of, um, I mean, the Railway Corporation, I, find, I would not have started calling Amechi's name at all. Had it been this happened on the road, of course, it's not related to his office. But the fact that it's happened on the rail, like it happened on the so-called railway that uh -uh, uncle you're supposed to be concerned you're supposed to push for it this is why you're even supposed to use to campaign you come out and say you know what i want my people that is those that are kid that were kidnapped you want them released and you do everything in your part to ensure that they are actually released you, know, you make good use of this opportunity but alas the man is not care he's not he's not even He's carefree about what has happened. To him, he's like, it has happened, let's move on to the last one. And it's even, it's even very difficult for me to, to understand that it's not just Amichi, but the Nigerian Railway Corporation. They have come out to say, eh, they have repaired the coaches, very soon the, the, the rail will start making use of it. I mean, this is a beautiful opportunity to me, for him to, you know, press... For these people to come out yes people will say oh he actually did it for campaigning but it will be in our good books that look cool. when this thing happened that this man was there you understand me and that this man was there he actually you know moved the body and shake body and make sure that these people come out because it is connected to his office like it is like they arrested i mean those people were abducted right in his office because they were abducted on real you understand me but this man not just him alone government is not challenged. I think about two days ago we heard that um, the victims of the family said even, uh, uh, that's the family of the victims, sorry, they said that this uh, um, kidnapper, this so-called uh, uh, the Boko Haram people, the terrorist people, that they, 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 they said they don't need money, that the government knows, they, knows what they want. Now, we are hearing that the, the family of the victims are saying they, they are com the, the, the so-called terrorists are in dialogue. Like they're in dialogue with our government. And I'm asking, how did we get ourselves a government that dialogues with terrorists but refuses to dialogue with its own citizens that are feeling marginalized and feeling sidelined? Huh. Nigerians, come 2023, we're taking it back. Please, no sleeping on the bicycle. If you have not been going to cast your votes because of one reason or the other or because you have the mentality of it is a selection process they already know who is going to be president please get it into your head that they are not going to come and spend money to gather people to buy to to, to vote for them buy people's votes for free as in they're just giving sarah money no it is because votes count please come to it to free god keeping us all alive we should ensure we come out to exercise our civil responsibility and see how we can turn nigeria around to the nigeria we so long for on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning in to listen until i come here next time enjoy the rest of your day